want to hear what the minority has to say because they have also been assessing the current administration, giving various angles and sides to the current administration and giving them very poor marks. So we cross over live to the Parliament House where my colleague Godfrey Tanam uh, is standing by to give us an update of what the minority is saying with regard to the 100 days of the NPP government. Receive their souls in paradise and comfort their families. And we also pray that President Nana Akufuado government brings closure to the circumstances which led to the unlawful takeover of the Kintapo Water Force by his government's sponsored illegal forces loyal to him and the MPP. Ladies and gentlemen, if this singular and sad incident does not constitute an act of deliberate terrorism, then what else could qualify? President Akufuado cannot claim to be on the side of peace when he is actively condemning Tagri right from his days in opposition. Thirdly, on 24th March 2017, another group of MPP tax, this time calling themselves Delta Force, carried out a shocking attack on the Ashanti Regional Security Coordinator and the Regional Coordinating Council in Kumasi. The reason for this senseless act of Tagri was that the said appointee was not their preferred candidate for the job of regional security coordinator, and that his appointment flew in the face of earlier agreements reached with the president. According to the illegal Delta forces, they had been promised their leader was a right and competent man for the post of Ashanti Regional Coordinator. Now the fourth, on Thursday, 6 April 2017, 13 of these Delta forces were arranged before the Court of Justice, before the Court of Justice, Mary Srenchire.